Hey everyone, it's Michelle Cutie Pie. Today I will be opening up my boxy charm for the month of December. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this. Wow, so my box is 15 ounces. So let's open this up. Tis the sea sun. The first thing I see is this Tarte Tartist Shimmering Lip Paint. And it's in the Insta Famous color. I will be doing a try on portion right after I show you guys everything that's in my box. It does look kind of rose gold. It has lavender, pink, and gold reflex in it. And this retails for $20. The second thing is this Cosmetics Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. I'm thinking of giving this to my boyfriend because he loves masks. So this retails for $30. A third thing is this Bodyography Heatherberry Lip Pencil. And it's this dark pink mauve color. I think this lip pencil would be great for me because dark mauves are the best for my lip color. And this retails for $12. The next thing is this Wander Beauty Wanderous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. It comes with a clear sheet and I do love these because I like attaching them right here. There you go. The light is hitting it just right. This is how it really looks like. It has kind of a gold sheen on both of the blushes. And then the, this is the highlight. Looks a little bit dark, but we'll see on the try-on portion how blinding it looks. And this retails for $26. This is the Protégé palette. Ooh, it's cruelty-free. So... This is what the packaging looks like. My first impressions, wow, these are nice. Like these highlighters look pretty blinding. These are the Lashaholic lashes from last month. I promise you guys I'll show you what it looks like. I can't wait to try these. These mattes look really matte and these two have like a really tiny silver reflux. Just a little bit, like a tiny sheen. But oh my gosh, these look like they're gonna be super shimmery. I'm excited to try this. And then this retails for $34. For the try on portion, I will be trying the Tardis Shimmering Lip Paint in Insta Famous. This Bodyography Heather Berry Lip Pencil and the Protégé eyeshadow palette. And I will be putting this in the giveaway once I hit 500 followers. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Let's just start with Tact. I'm taking a Glamour Dolls blending brush and place that all over the lid. Now, I think I'm gonna take, with the same brush, I'm taking Aesthetic. I like going slow and just building up. It's kind of hard to blend. It takes me a while to blend this. Feels like it's a stiffer eyeshadow. Like everything's like stuck right in this area. My hand is like kind of cramping from all the blending. Usually it takes me like so little time to blend but this is 
Honestly, my hands are cramping from all the blending. Now I want to add structure on the rest of my lid right here. I'm going to take this Vander brush. Let's see without any setting spray. Oh, this has a scent to it. Okay, I think I need some setting spray with this. Taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Spray. There we go. Wow. Can't really see it, but it's really nice. I want to take Theory, this highlight color, and I want to add this on the inner corner right here, all in the inner corner towards the structure color. I'm going to go ahead and spritz it. Add this right before structure. Yeah, wetting these colors makes such a difference. It makes it pop so much more. So I'm taking theory again and adding it on the other side. Taking the Glamour Dolls brush again, I want to go into Conscious. And I want to add that right here. Feeling a little extra, so I'm adding balance with the same vander brush. Spritz it, and I want to add this right next to structure right here. Yes. Whoa, I love this copper color. to blend all the colors together so I have I think I used almost everything I used almost everything except Poetic and Era I love how this looks the mattes were kind of hard for me to use but the shimmers I'm in love with all the shimmers now I'm just going to blend this Now I'm going to color in my brows and then I'm going to conceal just the little dots on my face. I don't want to put any foundation because right after this I'm going to do an alien eyeshadow palette look. <laughs> It feels kind of drying, but I love the color. I'm so used to using my Wet n Wild lip liners and they're very creamy and this one is kind of drying. But I love the color. It's like a natural pink. I like it. Before my battery dies, I'm going to use this Tardis lip paint in Insta Famous. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. smells good too. Let's put it on the highest points. Whoa. Yeah, this 
has gold, lavender, and pink reflux in it. That's pretty and it looks nice and glossy. Yeah, I really love this color. I wish it was like a little bit more creamier, but I feel like this would last for a long time. It matches so well with this Protégé eyeshadow palette. The mattes were kind of hard for me to use. I love all the shimmers and remember to spritz it with your setting spray and it'll look so amazing and shimmery. I used Aesthetic for my crease and I blended it up and then Conscious like right here in this area and I blended it up towards my eyebrow. I used Structure on the middle of my eyelid, Balance on the outer V, Theory right on the inner corners. Now I want to try Era for the highlight right on my cheek. I like it. The glitters are not that big. It's actually really soft. And then now I want to try Theory. I don't own a pink highlighter, so I'm so excited to have this. Ooh. Oh, it's so blinding, I can't even see it. I like the pink one better. Oh, yeah. That's blinding. The camera can't even catch it. And try arrow. Let me try turning this down. There it is. Here's the gold one. Here's the pink one. That's blinding.